Hey guys, so today I was lucky enough to get in touch with one of my local ADs and they informed me that the sea dweller, Deep Sea James Cameron, that I was after, came in and it was ready for me to come to the store and pick up. So I figured I'd make a video documenting the event. Hope you enjoy it. So as you can see, as we're headed down the escalator here, the main store is under construction on the left side there. So they're in a temporary spot here. While I was waiting, I showed up a little early for my 4.30 p.m. appointment. I went ahead and looked around at what they had available in the display cases. So lots of date justs. Couple oyster perpetuals there, 34 millimeters and then a smaller 26 green. Let's face it, they should just start calling these date just dealers, because that's really all you can get. And typical, not a sports piece in sight. That isn't a yacht master. A lot of weird stuff there. Really cool little tiny yacht master. No longer in production. And then there's a 37 millimeter. Very cool. This is where they sat me down to get the sizing right. First class treatment here. Unfortunately, though, since they weren't across the street in the in the larger store, we, we weren't able to go to the back room and pop the champagne bottles, but uh, hopefully next time. So here she's just explaining how to use the glide lock and just showing me the instructions. taking my watch back here while she, my current watch back here while she goes to the back and gets the deep sea sized. And this is the watch here in the 2020-2021 Rolex book. And there's my Grand Seiko in the deep sea box. I wore the deep sea out and put my Grand Seiko and had her put the Grand Seiko in the Rolex box. Reminds me of when you get a new pair of shoes and you put the old ones in the, in the shoe box. And there she is, sized and ready to go. Looking pretty good. It's a thick, thick watch. But, uh, and I apologize, date and time were not set correctly there, but I was excited, so. And I thought I'd just show you a couple of the other brands that they carried. Thankfully, I got this footage in before the security guard got mad at me. But I asked the salespeople first and they had no problem with me taking these shots, so I don't know what his issue was. A lot of nice Grand Seiko offerings here. They also have a good selection of Omegas.
mostly everything that you think that you would want. A lot of good options there. I think this is about where he started to bother me. Anyway, I'll just leave you guys with some still shots of my watch and some of the literature that they gave me for free. And lastly, just want to do a quick shout out to Annie at Bindi in Glendale, California. She provided me with fantastic service and I'll certainly be back. So hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, the short video and take care and uh, stay tuned for more info and if you liked it if you could hit the like button and you're more than welcome to subscribe to my channel but uh, I mean, there's not too much content but hopefully hopefully we'll be producing some more good stuff in the near future take care bye bye